Hey, what's up, Robbie? How are you tonight? I'm fantastic. How are you? I'm good, good. Holiday of Hope. How you feel about it? I feel great. Anything to help uh, One Heartland. So, do you have any uh, best friend celebrities? Um, Jonathan Bennett, who's going to be interviewing right after me, is one of my best friends in Los Angeles. We shot our first movie together, or my first movie, uh, Cheaper by the Dozen 2, so he showed me the ropes and kind of taught me all about the industry. Did he teach you about the girls, too? What's your ideal girl? My ideal girl? Um... Okay, I gotta combine a couple people. Um, Mila Kunis from uh, from Forgetting Sarah Marshall, with a little bit of Megan Fox and a tiny bit of um, not Jessica Alba, uh, Jessica Biel. So if you just like if they all ran at each other really fast and one girl came out, that's her. My first kiss, I was I was a young first kiss. It was like senior kindergarten. I was uh huh, truth or dare, just. Spin the bottle. Spin, spin, spin the bottle was okay, but then like sometimes you got the girl that you didn't want to kiss, and you're like had to pretend it was okay. That way, when you kiss the girl that you got and or that you wanted to get, everything kind of equaled out. Yeah. So, so what are you working on right now? Um, I just finished up Scooby Doo: The Beginning, uh, which will be coming out in September, timing with the 40th anniversary of Scooby Doo, and I'm playing uh, Fred Jones. Um, and I'm currently on a Nickelodeon show called um, True Jackson VP, uh, which airs 8.30 uh, Saturday nights on Nickelodeon. How's working on Nickelodeon? That's a, a fun teenage you know, environment. How are you handling with that? It's amazing. Uh, I did Disney for a while, which was fun. But uh, with this show, we have Friday night live tapings like a sitcom. And feeding off the energy of 150 kids is just it's like nothing else. Nothing else in the world. So what, what's your favorite sport? Hockey. I'm Canadian. There's one answer. Favorite sport, hockey. I played football and baseball growing up, but it always comes back to hockey. What's your plans for the holidays? I'll be heading back to Toronto for, uh, for a few weeks to spend the holiday with family and friends in the, in the cold. Cold winter with no girls around. Oh, there'll be girls. <laughs> Just cold winter. <laughs> How are the girls up in Canada? Um, they're great. Um, I, to be honest with you, California girls are more for me, but Canadian girls have their edge, their, like their sides. I mean, the great thing about California is it's always at least 75, 85, 95 degrees, so you don't have girls walking around in huge coats, sweaters, and hoodies, you know? Do you remember your first Christmas present? My first Christmas present? I can remember my first big Christmas present that really, really blew me away, which was uh, Nintendo 64. Mario Brothers. The Christmas it came out, my, uh, my grandmother bought it for me and she hid it. And she, she gave me all my presents, my mom gave me all my presents, all my family, and I didn't get Nintendo 64 and I was so depressed because it was the only thing that I really asked for. And then after I was all depressed and still put on a strong face pretending it was okay, she pulled it out and gave it to me and I started crying. <laughs> Pretty much uh, you were the guy that was taken over but uh, you know, you got your present in the end. Exactly. Just had to show like, you know, that it was okay that I didn't get it and then I got it. If your fans were here tonight, what would you say to them? Um, thank you for being here, and please do as much as you can to help One Heartland. <coughs> hey, what's up? My name's Robbie Amell, and you're watching Maximo TV.